All right, I got another update for this Dreamcast controller to USB converter that I created. Um, this is my fourth update, and with every update I go through the incremental changes that I've made since the previous update. Um, first off, uh, I have this Retro Fighters con controller just for the fact that it exposes these buttons on the VMU, and Falco on Elysian Shadows pointed out to me that those buttons are accessible through the Maple Bus. So I went ahead and um, mapped them to buttons on the gamepad that shows up. So on the PC, you'll see the buttons individually light up as I press them. Up, down, left, right are mapped. A and B are mapped. Um, these two mode and sleep buttons are not accessible. So that's that feature. <laughs> Moving on to the next feature that I added. Um, in the previous video, I showed that you could copy uh, storage files off of the VMU onto your local system. And I have implemented write access so you can copy files from your local system to storage on the VMU. So I can demonstrate that by dragging and dropping a file, uh, replace at the destination. You'll see this little icon on the VMU blink. Uh, this will take about 12 seconds to write the full VMU file. And this also works on Linux. Caveat of this is because of the way that I have the uh, file allocation tables set up, this only works when you try to write a file with the same name and the same exact size. So if you try to do anything other that than that, like trying to open a handle from a um, from an application, it's not going to work too well, and I'm going to fix that in the future to try to make that a little bit more flexible. But for now, just copying a file to it works just fine. Final feature that I'm here to demonstrate, um, you can open a serial port, oops, you can open up a serial uh, command prompt to the uh, serial device that shows up when you plug in the Pico. doesn't matter the baud rate or any of the other settings you set, you just need to open up the serial. Um, opens the command interface, so H for help, and the only other command that's available is you can manually send commands to the Maple bus this way. So I'm going to get the status of the VMU. So that throws it out on the Maple Bus and gives me the response that is received. Um, yeah, that's that's it as far as features go. I also moved all my documentation to the Dreamcast Wiki site. So if you want to learn about the Maple Bus, here's all the stuff I learned and all the diagrams that I created, all the tables that I documented. Um, there are also a lot of other things that were put on here recently. Um, so if you're interested in anything Dreamcast related, this is getting populated pretty quickly now. That's really all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.